Turkey has just invaded Syria. They say that it's all sunshine and lollipops and, you know, they want to help the Kurds. Uh Uh-huh. They're on record talking about how they want all Kurd country back. These are not the Kurds that we have abandoned in the past. These are not the good Kurds that we think about. Um, these are the Kurds in Syria. They are Marxist communists. Um, they're, they're authoritarians. Um, but there are Christians living among them. Lots of Christians. And I believe Turkey wants to commit genocide on all Kurds. I believe Turkey, once they get Syria under control and they control that part of the land, uh, they're just going to move into Kurdish country in Iraq, which... Then we have a then we have something else. I mean, a lot these Turks, a lot of these Turks, took some of the Christians that didn't want to leave. And the reason why the the uh, Christians didn't want to leave is because if we leave, they'll erase all Christian her- heritage. They'll rec- they'll erase everything in this. We've got to have Christianity thrive in the Middle East, or at least have a presence in the Middle East. And the the Kurds are the ones who took many of these people in. They have been great, great friends of the U.S., great friends of Christians. We are going to have thousands of Christians to move out of Syria again. Uh, And we really need your help. Uh, The Nazarene Fund is low on funds because we have been told that, you know, you have been told that, you know, everything is fine over there and the Christians are fine. They are not. Nothing could be further from the truth, but that's what the press wants to report. And so they do, but that's not true. Now with uh, Turkey going into Syria, all of those Christians are panicking this morning because they're already being bombed by Turkey and Turkey will level it. So they are all starting to gather their things and leave. And this has happened before. There is a, um, a, a Christian village called uh, Batnea, and it was occupied by ISIS. And it was 6,000 Christians were living in there. And the artillery fire came. Uh, they destroyed all the, the, uh, the buildings. All of the, uh, the uh, Christians were either killed or escaped. Population of Christians Some of them uh, were displaced. They went up with the Kurds. It has just been, it's been horrible, horrible. Finally, uh, the militias were um, taken out. ISIS was killed and we were able to um, get these Christian, this Christian territory back. Now, here's the thing. The militias are allowing Shia Muslims to claim the empty Christians' homes and the property. So what they're doing now is the Shia militias are coming in, and they're taking all of this this property. And the central government in Iraq is not supporting the Christians. There are no good aid groups there to help. The only aid group that is there right now is the Nazarene Fund. You, You created a monster. I mean, because of... Because of your heart, you created the, an iron wall. The people we have working for the Nazarene Fund, they're not going anywhere. We've lost two operatives. One has been shot 19 times. He's still alive. He won't stop. We're like, you got to stop, dude. You got to stop. And he's like, never Last month, the Nazarene Fund installed three industrial generators that are now supplying power to this Christian town so Christian families can return and be added to the grid. We're supplying the basic services, reestablishing civic and cultural anchors. Um, We are there giving people who are hanging on by a thread a chance to recover and return to their homeland. Last weekend, 35 Christian families returned and we were there to greet them. We really need your help. Please, if you can, this is going to happen now in Syria. And we are going to have thousands of people that are going to need to escape. I think these people are going to end up going to other countries um, because there's no place left for them anymore. There's no place left. Now that Turkey is trying to reestablish the Ottoman Empire, there's no place left. We have Iran coming in. We have Turkey coming down. 
We have Syria absolutely on fire. We have uh, um, Israel all by itself. Where are they going to go? Please help us at the NazareneFund.org. And I ask, I, I can tell you that every single dollar, we just did an audit um, on the people who are helping us with the Nazarene Fund. And I can tell you that every single penny went to these missions. Nobody, nobody's salary came out of this, um, no office space, nothing. Every single penny goes to help them, which I now have to ask you, the unsexy thing, we do a ball every year and we do auctions and we do everything we can. We work so hard to make this something of value because we invite you to come down um, to Dallas or just buy, just, just go to uh, uh, mercuryone.org, M1 Ball, and look. There are many ways you can participate. We do this once a year because this is the thing that pays for all of the salaries and the light bills and the buildings and everything else. It's intense. Um, we, are, we are going to be talking about how we are going to double our efforts um, soon on some new projects, and we really need your help. Please, uh, this is next. It's not next Saturday. It's Saturday after? It's the 26th, I think. Um, let me look here. Uh, 2019 ball. It is happening Saturday, October 26th. And you can come, you can buy a ticket and not come, buy a table. Um, but uh, it's mercuryone.org slash M1 ball. We would really appreciate your help, especially today. <laughs> 